Now that we've talked about number formats and custom formats in Excel, I want to tell you guys about a special format that also exists in Excel and that it's really important that you know about. It's something called text format. If we go back to the number format dropdown and look at the available categories, you'll see that there's a category here called text. Now that's a format that you can apply to a cell and it's important that you know about text format because it's a very unusual format in Excel and behaves completely different from how other formats behave. Let's just say that you'll know when you come across this format because Excel doesn't seem to work right when it's activated. Okay, what exactly is text format? Text format is a special kind of format that when you apply it to a cell, Excel is going to interpret what you write there literally as if it were a text string. What do I mean by that? Well, as you can see here, I have in this column numbers that have general number format. These are right aligned and they behave like any old number that you might think about. In the end, if I add all of these together, I get a result of 15. Now these cells, on the other hand, as you can see here in the format indicator, are formatted as text cells. And as you can see, they align to the left. And even though I write a number, the sum of these numbers is zero. Now why is the sum zero? Well, because of what I was telling you guys about a couple of seconds ago. When you format something as text in Excel, Excel takes it literally. This 2 stops being a number 2 and is just a character 2. There's a little difference there that's kind of hard to grasp unless you've looked into programming a little bit and understood the data types. But in short, this is a text string. And they don't add together. And also, have a look at this. When I have general format, if I type a formula, like this one that I have, equals 1 plus 2 plus 5, Excel simply executes the formula and I get a result of 8, which is 1 plus 2 plus 5. But if my cell is text format, look at what happens. I write the formula, equals 1 plus 2 plus 5, and Excel simply writes equals 1 plus 2 plus 5 as the result of this cell. Remember that in text format, Excel interprets everything literally. In other words, it does no processing, it does no operations, no interpretations, anything on what you write. It simply outputs whatever you write as you wrote it. If you ever come across a cell in a worksheet that's behaving weird, you know, like you write a formula equals 1 plus 2, and the formula doesn't execute, that's probably a sign that you're dealing with text formats there. Someone set that formula to text and that's why it's misbehaving. Some people do that. They have the bad habit of using text format. You know, if something doesn't behave right or if they can't align text exactly the way that they want it, they just set the thing to text format and align their text like that and they send it off. And the result is precisely this, that you come across cells that don't behave right. Okay, how can you tell if you have cells in text format? Well, the first indicator is that your numbers are going to be aligned to the left of the cell. That's really unusual because normally Excel aligns numbers to the right, as we can see here. The only exception is if you left align the cell. You know, if I press align to the left, my numbers are going to be aligned to the left. But if I take off this restriction and simply let Excel decide, Excel is always going to align numbers to the right. Whereas in text format, it's always going to be on the left side of the cell. This is one indicator that you might be dealing with text format cells. The second indicator, obviously, is that up here in the cell format you get this which says text. That's an indicator that the cell is configured for text format. Another indicator you can look for if you're typing numbers, you're going to get this little green indicator on the corner which signals that there's a warning there. And if you go to the warning, Excel is going to say the number in this cell is formatted as text. See, that means that the cell has text format and this is behaving as text and not as a number. That's another warning. Now, the other way that you can tell that you have cells formatted as text, well, your formulas aren't going to work. 
when you type in a formula, 5 plus 8 plus 9, you're going to get a literal string. Excel isn't going to execute that formula. Now, how do you remove text format from your cells? Well, it's pretty simple. You just select the cells and switch your format to another thing, for example, general format. But, as you can see, initially your values are not going to switch back to numbers, and you're still going to have problems here. How do you switch them to numbers? Well, you have to step into the cell and edit the number up here. You don't have to do anything, you just have to step into the cell and do that. There's also a function in Excel called, um, I believe it's value, which uh, returns the numeric value of a text string, but we'll look into that a little bit later when we're looking at mathematical functions. For now, all you need to do to remove text format is step into the cell and step out, and your cell is going to start responding and behaving normally. Right here with the formula, it's the same thing. Just set your formula to general format, step into the cell, and step out of the cell. And as soon as you step out of the cell, Excel is going to remove your text format and everything's going to start behaving normally as it would for example right now I can type in a formula and it'll respond immediately so that's text format in Excel it's something that you should look out for especially if your worksheet is behaving weird it might signal that you have cells formatted as text thanks for watching this video tutorial if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, cubicleoverlords.com, for more instructional videos like this one.